Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to give you three reasons that I love Microsoft's free digital note-taking app called OneNote. I have OneNote already running. I'm in a notebook called Family Notebook, and you can have all kind of different notebooks. You can have one for clients, one for employees, one for meetings. But in the Family Notebook, it's divided up into sections. Household, food, vacation, health are all sections. I'm currently on the household section, and here are my pages over to the right. So I'm going to jump from one notebook to another. I made these clients up. Here's the first section. There's the second section. I'm going to make a third one. It wants me to name this. I'm going to call it UGA. So I've got a section called UGA, and I'm going to make a page called Terry College of Business. So in the first reason I love OneNote is I frequently have meetings. The meetings are set up in Outlook. Outlook and OneNote work together. So just to prove it, here's my Outlook calendar. Today is September 23rd. I made up a meeting for today at 3.30 just to test this. Back in OneNote, I need to take notes for myself. Meeting details, all the meetings I have the day would show up. If I needed to pick a different day, I would come and click another day. But watch what happens when I select that meeting. OneNote immediately populates the page with those, the meeting subject. I can sit here and check who attended. We'll have everyone to show up. I can come down here and make meeting notes. I know you don't want to watch me test, so I'm just making this up. I can also, after the meeting is over, email the page in Outlook and OneNote again work together. So watch what happens. My Outlook immediately popped up. I didn't do anything. There are the meeting notes right there, including all the notes I made. There's everyone up top that was at the meeting. So that is reason one that I love OneNote. Reason two. I'm going to swap over to another notebook and I've already made, I already have a section called Excel. Here are my pages. I've already created this page called XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP Look Up is a new function in Excel. Reason two I love OneNote is copy and paste. You said that sounds silly, but watch this. I've already opened up a browser. I don't care which one. I did a search, Chris Menard XLOOKUP. There's one video I created, there's a second video I created, but I'm looking for the blog post. I click it. I'm going to copy just part of the text out of this post. So I'm going to do a control C. Notice the URL at the top, back in OneNote. I'm going to paste it. Whenever you paste, from a web page into OneNote, OneNote remembers the URL down below in case you need to get back there. Like, where did I get this from? Also, watch this. I'm going to go back. Even if you copy a URL, copy link address. This is so cool. I'm going to make a new page because this is X lookup video and I paste that. Watch this. It not only pastes the URL of the video, it pulled in the video thumbnail and that video would play right there. So there's the copy paste. That's another reason I love X lookup. The third reason I love X lookup, I'm going to go back to this previous page. I have XLOOKUP obviously on this page. Control F is always going to pull up Find. I type in XLOOKUP, it obviously found it for this page. I'm going to pull this over just a tad. But if you have multiple notebooks, multiple sections, multiple pages, which if you start using OneNote you will, I'm going to jump back to Client. I'm going to type in XLOOKUP here just for some reason. Control F, 
Yep, it found this page, no problem. But I know that I've got XLOOKUP somewhere else. I can hit this arrow. So not only does find in OneNote find pages, it looks in sections. The section is called UGA at the top. It'll find notebooks, so search for this entire notebook, but it'll also search for all notebooks. I'm going to click all notebooks because XLOOKUP is over in my training notebook. Look, training in the sections Excel. The page is XLOOKUP. It found it. The other page was XLOOKUP video. Not only did it find it, it highlights it. So I'm going to stay right here. I just quickly jumped over here. One more tip for you concerning find. This morning, I took a picture with my smartphone just to test this of this box. If you notice, it has the word walnut and it also has the word walnuts. After I took the picture on my mobile device, doesn't matter whether it's Android or iPhone, I used Office Lens to get it to go right into OneNote. It doesn't matter how you get that image into OneNote, so whether you use Office Lens or just send it there yourself, you're fine. OneNote will search images. So, I'm going to come up here and type in Walnut. It is still set, in case you're wondering, to search all notebooks. And look, it found it. When I click there, That is that. I never typed the word walnut anywhere. And in case you're wondering, I'm going to close this. Let me do it one more time. Walnut. Let me get on that page. There we go. In case you're wondering, how did it find the word walnut? After you take a picture and put it into OneNote, <clears throat> it uses uh, OCR, Object Character Recognition, and searches that images for words. And if you want to actually see those words, I can right-click this image. Copy text from picture. So this all happened in the background. You don't have to do this step. And I can click anywhere. That is the text that OneNote automatically found from this image. Now it's not 100%, like it couldn't get Ghirardelli right, and maybe it's the lighting, but it clearly found walnut, and it found walnuts. So there are three reasons that I love OneNote. There are more. I just want to keep this video short. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel.